This video is an introduction to the field of aesthetic computing as taught in Professor Paul Fishwick's course at the University of Florida in the spring of 2011. I am Saki Zell and was a teaching assistant for the course. In the remainder of this video, I will present some of the best student projects. But first, let me introduce the concept of aesthetic computing. Aesthetic computing is the exploration of how different human interaction techniques can be applied to information representation for a variety of goals. These goals include fast comprehension, general exploration, and art. Each goal depends on the user's frame of mind and target audience. Additionally, this class emphasized the importance of linking information using web sciences, data repositories, and Application Programming Interfaces, or APIs. For more information, please refer to the course webpage. And now let's begin reviewing some student work. As a first assignment, students were tasked with visually representing data that is geographical in nature. For example, the population of the U.S. by state. As you can see with this project, as the year has changed, the color-coded circles that represent a state's population are updated. The circles are arranged based on the state's geographical location. This group leveraged the Modest Map Library to visualize earthquake data from 1990 to 2011. Quakes are visualized as circles and can be color-coded according to their magnitude or their depth. Major quakes occurring during this time frame can also be individually located using this interface. Another group added a third dimension to a U.S. map to visualize snowfall data for a given year. Here is one last example of the student projects that visualize geographical data. This group obtained crime statistics from the Gainesville Police Department, ranging from 2004 until 2011. Crimes are color-coded and visualized over a map of Gainesville. Users can choose to view only certain types of crime, such as drug-related, burglary, and fraud. An interactive timeline is also provided so users can see how crime statistics change over time. After the first project, students in the course were given more freedom in the data they could represent and the technology they could use to implement their designs. This project represents trace elements found in Rome's drinking water. The elements are color-coded based on their concentration in the water. Users can learn more information about a given element by selecting it. This information includes elemental information, concentration, and governmental standards. Selecting the Link to More Information option will send the user to a Wikipedia article for a given element. Another student implemented interaction techniques with the Microsoft Connect. Here the user moves their right arm to navigate between molecular visualizations. The molecules can be selected by pressing forward with the right hand, and additional information will be provided. Another group created a Wikipedia game. In this instance of the game, the player starts with the concept donut and must traverse wiki links until they find the goal, Tour de France. If needed, wiki pages can be rendered in the right panel. This particular game is solved by choosing Donut, Beignet, French Language, France, and finally Tour de France. Here we see a flock simulation where the flock is composed of the 100 members of the U.S. Senate. Members are labeled by the initials of their name. 
The flock can be divided by gender, party affiliation, or home state. Simulation attributes of the flock can also be tweaked, including separation, alignment, and coherence. Here I am tweaking separation. When the user clicks on a flock member, additional information is provided. Using the Twitter API, another group created a project akin to a non-interactive art installation. Real-time tweets are displayed in rapid succession and color-coded according to their emotional content. Tweets are categorized as positive, neutral, or negative. Further, a cube is spawned for each tweet and rendered in the background along with floating disks that dynamically resize according to the frequency of tweets that fit in one of the three emotional categories. Two other groups leveraged the Twitter API to create games inspired by the classic arcade title Space Invaders. In this group's game, green or positive tweets represent friends, and blue or neutral and red or negative tweets represent enemies and should be destroyed. This student incorporated even more Twitter information by creating waves of enemies based on popular hashtags and also utilizing avatar pictures for representing enemy ships. It even has boss battles. As the final part of this video presentation, I will present three projects that employed virtual worlds. All of these projects were constructed on the island of Aesthetica within Second Life. One group created a maze quiz on the island of Aesthetica. The example quiz in this maze is on the topic of natural gas consumption. The user enters the maze using the green arrow as a waypoint to the first question. The question is, in 1960, which sector had the highest natural gas usage? When the question is answered correctly with industrial, the green arrow moves and the user must navigate further into the maze. After the 20th question is answered correctly, the green arrow will reveal the exit. This group created a virtual classroom environment with a goal of having the user or student learn the Spanish language. The student sits at a desk and enters a word in English that they want translated to Spanish. We see here that the student entered pencil. Using online translation APIs and image search APIs, the virtual whiteboard is decorated with images of pencils and the Spanish translation lapis. Here the student enters the English word cloud. The whiteboard updates accordingly. Here we see a virtual kitchen on the island of Aesthetica. Inside of the refrigerator is a collection of ingredients. Users interact with mixing bowls to define the ingredients they would like to cook with. Here the user adds eggs, flour, and apples. After the ingredients are defined, Clicking the pot on the stove will cause a recipe to be displayed that requires all of the chosen ingredients. The recipe is found online using a recipe search API. Further, an image of the recipe, that happens to show the uncooked ingredients in this example, is rendered on the plate that is located on the dining table. This concludes our video presentation of Aesthetic Computing taught at the University of Florida by Professor Paul Fishwick. Thank you.